All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Jam with Alice and my guest tonight. Ah. Oh. It's the hot new director from Chicago, Peoria. He's just like all over the place. He's an actor. He's a director. And you wouldn't believe it, but the man is funny as hell. And he's a comedian. We have Ruben Ramirez. Hey. <laughs> How you doing, Ruben? Man, doing amazing. Thank you for having me. I'm so blessed for the opportunity. Thank you, Alice. Oh, no problem. If you all haven't checked it out yet, he's in all of us. Magazine, what? You've been all of us magazine. That's right. I right? so see he's showing it right there. Yes. <laughs> all of us magazine. Um, you can catch him in there. You can go to justinemagazine.com and download the magazine for free. All right. For the free. About it. For free. Yeah. What? For free. Right? <laughs> now, if you want a hard copy, that's a different thing. Okay. <laughs> all yeah. right. So he is not only a director, an actor, and a comedian, he also owns Star Star Power Film Company. And we're going to be talking about that because that's something new that I didn't know about you. So um, I have known Ruben now for about a year, year and a half. About a year and a half, so yeah. He a film company, and we're going to definitely just get in, get right into it. All right, so Mr. Ruben, tell me about Star Power Film Company. Why did you get that started? Um, so, you know, you know how it is because you're an actress as well. So you understand that, you know, waiting for opportunities can get boring. You know what I'm saying? Um, and then obviously you being an entrepreneur, you understand that sometimes you just got to create your own platform. You know what I'm saying? So, and on top of that, it's the same, you know, vibe of like all of us in Just Me Magazine, which is, you know, you've created two successful platforms for other people to be showcased. I looked at it, my company is like something similar as well because, um, you know, our company is based in uh, Central Illinois, and in Central Illinois is not really that many opportunities, and it's just a lot of cornfields, you know what I mean? And yeah. that's where, you know, I started acting was, you know, I was living in pure traveling three hours to go to Chicago to do auditions and stuff. So, you know, being, you know, to be able to grow from the situations that I went through in life, um, from that aspect, and on top of that, uh, as an entertainer, I wanted to bridge the gap. You know, I wanted to, for all these Central Illinois artists that were having to do the same thing that I had to, um, I wanted to help out, you know, in a way. And what better way is to give people a platform to be entertainers and not have to travel three hours. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Uh, and uh, so, you know, my boy Mario Cannon, uh, you've, you've seen me on my story. I mentioned him a ton. Uh, and he's going to be, and he's very, 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 very interested in uh, talking with you, by the way. Uh, mm -hmm. But yeah, I told him about well, you. I'm excited as well. And if those, those who don't know, Mario Cannon, he played in, he was one of the um, co-stars in Empire on Fox um, Fox Station Network, yeah. The mm -hmm. Empire. Very popular show, very successful show. Yeah. Um, I love the show. Um, so yeah, so we're definitely going to have Mario Cannon. And you can actually catch him right here with my buddy right there. Right there. <laughs> yes, yes, ma'am. Yeah, you know, and, uh, you know, so he is the uh, the co-owner uh, because he owns uh, Star Power, the Elites. That's the music label of it. Okay. And, uh, so I was like, how can I assist my brother in growing his brand? So I was like, you do music and you do and you're an actor. Like, why don't we tap into film? Why don't we create our own short films? Why don't we shoot our own, you know? And, you know, because at one point, me and him, we, we would, every time we get an audition and every time we don't get it, we call each other like, yeah, bro, we didn't get that part. Yeah, bro, I didn't get that, you know? So um, we're like, man, why are, we, why are we waiting, bro? Why We have the people. We have the uh, equipment. We mm -hmm. have the – and just by that alone, we realize that uh, we're growing our own little empire over in, in central Illinois because – People are traveling, you know, from Wisconsin to, to be in our films now, you know, and uh, our first one, the candidate, um, you know, they it won Mario his first actor award. You know what I mean? He won best actor for. Uh, Congratulations. Yeah. So, you know, for him to obtain that through our first short film as a company was amazing and um, it's exciting to see what else we can do, you know, and we yeah. shot our first we shot our first feature in January. And then we just got done shooting another short uh, a couple weeks ago. So the uh, opportunities are going to be flowing. And um, 
I always it's not like it's meant for Central Illinois only. I've had some friends from Chicago drive down and be a part of our projects and. Um, our projects are pretty, uh, to be honest. I mean, you've been on in, uh, uh, independent film sets. Sometimes you get fed Cheetos for dinner. You know what I mean? You know, you, you, you've been on those, uh, you know, the, the, the cool indie sets with Maurice and them. And then you've been on those other indie sets where it's like, kind of like, uh, you know. If they feed you. Yeah, if they feed you. <laughs> if, you know. And yeah. it's funny because uh, for my, for if, for like the lead actress or lead actor, you know, yeah. it was funny because I'm like, hey, you're getting two meals a day. And they're like, huh? <laughs> they're like, yeah, let me, you get you get fed for lunch and dinner. And they're like, wow, like real food or snacks? And I'm like, real food. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's not even like it's little Caesars only. Like I make sure they're wow. fed really well. Yeah. So, and it's all about planning. I mean, that's what 2020 was, was about planning, Um, you know, cutting out vices to make sure because how I look at it as I used to, you know, I used to buy nice things and whatnot. And like, for example, a pair of Jordans, that's, you know, 200, $300. How I look at it as that's, you know, that's at least to feed the cast and crew for a couple of days. You know what I mean? So I did, you know, I put it in my mind. I was like, no, that's not worth not being able to feed my people. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Suffice. You know what I mean? Cause Obviously, we're not at the point where we could pay everybody three hundred dollars a day, like they're, you know what I mean. Yeah. But we're still able to provide their meals, or provide their footage, um, and then it's not every day you come across an independent film company that has a red camera. So a red camera is a Netflix-approved camera. It's beautifully, it, it's it's the most beautiful thing, like. It's hand, it's it's really it's really small, it, you know, for a brand. Is, is that, it really a Netflix approved film camera? Yeah, really? yeah. I didn't know they had such thing. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's so a red six K Komodo. Um, it shoots amazing picture, and you know, it, it's you know, you, a lot of indie filmmakers don't have that, and for us to be able to obtain that through our producer that uh, runs NDDB Studios over in o- by O'Hare, um, you know. It's just stuff like that. It's another platform of assisting artists like you are yeah. me. And, you know, so it's it's a lot going on, Alice. And I'm excited. 2021 is bright for all of us, for sure. Well, I understand you had the candidate. And yeah. then um, you got another film that's coming out, too, this year, which is Black, right? Yep. All right. So we're going to talk about some of your films. Tell us a little bit what else the candidate is about. So the candidate was the 48-hour film festival that we did. And the uh, the topic we had to talk about was uh, it, well the three things that had to be in the film was a stool, the term excuse me, and uh, the genre had to be drama. So the the candidate was is about uh, obviously two presidential candidates going head to head, but it became dirty to the point where one of the candidates got kidnapped by the other candidates. Uh, dirty, you know what I'm saying, the guy that does all the dirt, all the henchmen, you know? So it gets crazy because he not only he, he not only uh, kidnaps uh, the, the, the henchmen or the, the, the other candidate, he kidnaps their bodyguard huh? and, and, yeah, and, his, you know, and his vice president. <laughs> so that's where it gets interesting, you know, he pretty much, the other uh, candidate, which is Cannon, mm-hmm. he is getting the uh, other so he's getting the other, uh, the other. Sorry, uh, he's getting the other, uh, the other candidate to like break. He was like, "Hey, you're gonna lose the the, the race against me if you want to live," you know. So he pretty much uses that against him. So it's pretty cool uh, how we were able to do that. And you know, we filmed that in like four hours, and then obviously the rest took editing and whatnot. Wow. But yeah. Wow. So. But tell me about Black because I know that's the one that's coming up, ladies and gentlemen. Man, it's both. also in the magazine. You can see it. Yeah. Yep, black, and and that and that movie poster, you look at that and you're like, "What's that about?" You know what I mean? Yes, yeah, it's when your back is against the wall. Do you give into temptation or do you fight? And you know what's crazy? That is set. So, you know, the I kind of because you know I'm so scared of like having a you know say of saying too much. But right, because you don't want to give away, just yeah, it's crazy. So, imagine 
sitting in a room, waking up in a room, mm -hmm. having no idea why you're there, who put you there, and only recollecting what happened right before you were kidnapped. You don't remember a face. You don't remember not a thing. Now, mm -hmm. over time, it's a psychological measure, you know? How much more time uh, the the are you gonna go through this in this room? Why are you in this room? Why are you trying? Why are random strangers popping up? Because not everybody is in the room right then and there. It's mm -hmm. one by one. So you're trying to figure out what's everybody's purpose. Now, the 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 I can't. No, that's a twist. I was I was about to say the twist. No, no, no don't tell us the twist. Now, <laughs> now hey, so, when can we see black? So. Uh, Obviously, with the pandemic, uh, theaters were not allowed to have full capacity yet. Okay. But um, I do plan to have a th like a theatrical release at a Chicago theater and a Peoria theater because we got a lot of love up here. We got a lot of love down there. So I want to give mm -hmm. everybody, you know, an opportunity to watch it before uh, we send it off to film festivals because we're submitting that one to the Sundance because that's what we use the red camera and oh congratulations yeah so we so yeah, you think we're gonna see you on netflix then i hope so <laughs> i <laughs> hope so um no i mean the goal is with that one is um because obviously we're shooting a bunch you know what i'm saying i mean you, we we just shot the other short we're shooting obviously this weekend we're doing a 48 hour film festival again and then yeah. at the end of the month we're shooting another concept a uh, short film where there's not really much dialogue, but it's a lot of acting. So um, my company is going to be producing so much content. And uh, our primary goal right now is not necessarily for everybody to watch it, but to have um, all this film Ooh. ready at our grasp to where when we meet with investors, we can be like, hey, this is what our company did with a small budget. You know what I mean? Here's what we did. We have 10 short films and two features ready for you to watch. Oh, like, wow. here's what we do. This is what we did with a small budget. And we probably try to present them what it is. And then at the end, that's when we're like, you know, imagine if you were able to loan us, you know, a high dollar amount. Imagine how much we can do. You know what I mean? So uh, it's, you know, obviously, yeah, we're going to post trailers. We're going to post interviews. We're going to post all types of things for people to see. But like those theatrical releases, they'll probably yes. Primarily be the best way to, to watch it before it's kind of like not necessarily vaulted, but yes. we definitely want to distribute it the right way because it's 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 a it's pop, black in itself is 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 crazy. <laughs> yeah, and, I, I, uh, I can't wait to see it. I mean, just the folder, the the flyer alone got me wanting to see and, more of it. Let, you, let's get into your background um, for. Okay, so you own you 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 own the you own a studio, all right? Let's tell the people how you got here because I've known you as a comedian and an actor. So let's tell them your 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 experience. Let's give them your resume. Man, my resume comes from uh, trying anything and everything once. You know, yeah. uh, any uh, you know, anytime I said I want to try that, I want to do that, I just did it. You know what I mean? And I think twenty twenty really assisted <laughs> me on that to just sit down and just try everything out, you know? I mean, <laughs> I tried, you know, I like, I learned how to DJ, you know what I mean? I was When we were quarantined, I bought a DJ board, some speakers, and I figured out, you know, I learned how to DJ. So, like, and that was a random, like, trait that I just added. And, and it's cool because it actually has made me money now, you know what I mean? I go to the parties and stuff like that, and, you know, so oh, wow. that's another factor, you know, another stream of income that we always are trying to add, you know? Yeah. And um, I've also done uh, behind the scenes photography. So I was like, I want to take pictures. I like taking pictures. Pictures are cool. <laughs> I bought myself a little Lumix for myself. And uh, and uh, and it was it was cool. Like and I've gotten paid to do behind the scenes photography. So like it's cool that that it's something that I always wanted to try. And mm -hmm. it's not like necessarily I'm something passionate about, but it's cool that I have the ability to do it. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah, I mean, and now but you're passionate that, about the studio, though. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, uh, when it comes to being an entertainer, uh, that's that's my bread and butter. When it comes to you know, whether it's comedian, uh, director, writer, actor, that is what makes me Ruben, you know, baby or chata. That's what, uh, baby or chata. <laughs> so, that's, baby exactly, or chata. <laughs> that's exactly, you know, 
Uh, so yeah, and and uh, and I started about four years ago with acting, and after mm-hmm. that, you know, everything just grows from it. You know what I mean? You get interested in doing something else because, like, I would watch the directors and how they would work, and I think that'd be cool. You know, you'd be the one that makes the vision solid. You know, and uh, so I was like, I'm gonna try directing, and I tried directing. I, I love it. You know what I'm saying? So I love directing. I'll be directing um this uh this 48 hour i won't be enacting in it but i'll be directing okay. this one okay and, and what have you found in having your own business your own studio what is the hardest thing if someone say hey ruben you know i want to get my own studio started what, what kind of advice would you give them oh that is that comes right before you even make the decision to produce something so like if someone were to come and tell me that straight up i'm gonna look and be like hey do you have a savings account first right off the bat and if they say no i was like i'd be like is your checking account fat and they're you know they say like, no <laughs> then i was like look man uh you know you have to hold yourself accountable on a lot of things alice and one thing that i try to tell people is use your time wisely at the, yes. you know you gotta because time has gone by so quick, and I hope 2020 has taught a lot of people that time is not on your side at all. No. Like, I blinked, and it was 9 o'clock already. You know what I'm saying? And that is, and so I tell people, like, look, you have to hold yourself accountable. You have to look at your vices. We all have vices. It's okay. You know, we all have things that we're, you know, addicted to, consumer, you know. But you have to prioritize that. So what I did in, in during the pandemic was I realized that I was binge watching too much Netflix, you know, and uh, I was just continuously watching content, 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 content. And I realized that this pandemic almost turned me into a consumer rather than being the provider. So right. I, uh, I ended uh, my Netflix subscription because I found out it was too expensive. Now, you know, people are like, oh, it's only eight ninety nine. No, it's eight ninety nine plus thirty hours of your life a week. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So what I told people I was like, you gotta hold yourself accountable on that end. So I ended my subscription during that time, and uh, I realized that my writing just got so much better. Why? Because I quit being a consumer. I I started be, be being the person that produces the content, not just create. You know, creating the content, not consuming it. You know what I'm saying? So. In that essence, I would have to tell people, you have to look at yourself as a person. And are you ready to put yourself, your needs and your wants, Mm -hmm. you know, your wants and find out what you genuinely need and be honest with yourself? Because a lot of people are not going to be honest with themselves. They're going to think like, no, that's okay. That's oh, no, that's okay. You know what I mean? And (laughs) And to be honest, you might have to hurt yourself. You know what I mean? You might have to for for yourself to grow. You might have to, you know what I mean? You might have to do things that you never thought you would. And, you know, in the beginning, it sucks, but you'll realize that that was the best decision possible. You know what I'm saying? Possible for yourself. Yep. Sorry, just get my charger. But, yeah. So, <laughs> long story short, if someone asked me. Sorry, I'm going to put my charger on right now. Okay. Uh, but uh, if someone asked me, they're like, hey, Ruben, uh, I want to be a filmmaker. and be like. Mm. <laughs> do you <laughs> do you want to consume it or do you want to create it? You know, and that's when you go from there. So, I mean, for you, Aleph, what would and let, can I ask you a question, kid? Like, yeah, go ahead. So, what would you give advice? Someone said, "Hey, Alice, what do I need to start my own company? What do I? Uh, how can I be able to produce, uh, you know, multiple magazines a month? <laughs> <laughs> uh, do podcasts." Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. how you be able to do your job. Well, I would tell them it, it, it's 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 all about determination, and 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 commitment to um to your craft, to your fire. So one of the things that you're going to hear me say this at the end is you find your fire, and if you can find your fire, that means you're going to make make the time to do what you just said. Learn the craft. Let some things go and. Sacrifice is all about sacrifice for that fire that you have for what you want to do, right? When I started the magazine, I started the screen, didn't even know what I was doing. I just wanted to help people, right? Yeah. Um, now it's, it's, it's eight years later, nine years later, 
You know, I get to charge people for advertising. I actually make it into a business now instead yeah. of giving it away for free because I learned the craft and I took the time to learn it. And now I have two magazines because of it and a podcast. Yeah. Right. So the second thing is be true to who you are. Right. When you're true to who you are, then you know inside what you said earlier. You know, it's all about knowing who you are. You know, mm-hmm. not worry about what other people think of you. Because if you start worrying about what other people think of you, you're never going to succeed to where to the level that you need to get to. Because it's always going to be, what do that person think about me? No, forget that person. Do what do what's comfortable for you. Preach. Yeah, right. <laughs> and then finally, inspire along the way. Right. Yep. If you inspire along the way, you will. That's how you're going to succeed, right? Because yeah. it's all of us together. That's why I call it all of us, because it's yeah. all of us. It's all of us together in one big pot trying to get to one spot. You know, just because Ruben has a, and I put you and Maurice in, in the same pot, right? Yeah. Ruben have a studio, Maurice have a studio. It doesn't make you enemies, no. right? It actually, you can bring, in, in some instances, you can help each other. Nobody nobody is above each other. We're all there to help each other so we can succeed. And oh, yeah. I, one person would not be jealous of, somebody asked me how to do a magazine, and I laid it all out from this is how I did my, you will have to find a way that's comfortable for you, but yeah. this is how I did my magazine. I don't mind sharing information. Yeah. Now, yes, I will say people get paid for their information, so don't think that people don't want to get paid for the information. You oh, know? yeah, yeah. No, definitely. It's, it's No, because trust me, I understand you on that one, especially yeah. because a lot of people are like, you know, hey, uh, so how do you edit? How do you, how do you, you know? And, you know, the form of way, because they're like, how do you do this? How do you do this? How do you do this? I'm going to be like, you know what, bro? To be honest, you're going to just have to come on set and be an assistant. And you're going to have to learn from that. You know yeah. what I mean? Because like, hey, is there any way I can be on set with you guys? I just want to be in the back. I was like, nah, man, we're going to make you an assistant so we can learn, you know, like, even if it is just, you know, doing the dirty work, hey, bro, carry this over there, carry this over there. Like, that's a part of the game, too. You can't just sit back and, you know, watch and get to, no, you're going to have to have some type of labor, you know what I mean? But and, it is, and what is that saying? You have to crawl before you walk, right? Exactly. You exactly. have to walk before you run. Uh-huh. Right? Yeah. And we all want to run, but yeah. let's take the steps to get to the running part. Exactly, and and, and and that's I mean I, I let them know too I'm like to be honest this is the best way to explain it is just showing you how to do it all right cool but the way how to show you do it you got to be on set with me and you got to you know say get dirty hands with me too you know uh, that is that's it. it I mean because what how do you how do you learn the best way hands on you know what I mean. Hands on. Um, that's, all. So, that's how I learned the magazine. I didn't nobody show me the magazine. I think I asked a couple of people about it, and they didn't want to share the information. So I got out there and I learned, yeah. you know, mistakes. And then I have some wonderful, wonderful friends and support team that's behind me. If something is wrong with it, they're like, "Oh, you shouldn't do this. You shouldn't do that." And and, and that helps out a whole lot too. So I would say support. Support is another big thing. Yeah, right? and, and, and and into you your craft or too. your your dream or your fire. Yep, mm-hmm. absolutely. What else can we look for from 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 the studio? <laughs> so, oh yeah, yeah, no, we have plenty. And you know what? Uh, I gotta Stop gotta give a shout out. The film is about to blow up. Man, I gotta give a shout out to uh, to all the cast. Um, you know, we got Chicago Swap, Neil Shaw. Uh, we got Chantelle Johnson. Uh, you know, oh got, my god, I love her. Yeah, Chantelle. She, so, she is so funny. She. Oh my dude, god, her acting. Like I know she can act, but like yeah. in this essence, she had to play a very. Sh- I mean, she's a mother in itself, but like she had to play a very strong motherly role, but mm-hmm. like a very emotional one, and she did amazing. It was crazy. Like I remember we're going through the audition tapes. My boy Dan, that's in charge of all the you know director of the photography, he's my actually DP. Yeah, uh, you know. He as soon as the first tape I showed the telly, he was like that one, that one, and I'm like chill out, bro. We still got like ten to watch. Relax. <laughs> uh, Mark Kelly. So we were watching the rest, and I could just tell he wasn't interested in anybody else, you know. But she, he was she watching killed everybody, him, huh? and he was like, "Telly, bro, all right, cool. Telly, it is, you know." So Telly is good. I I like her. I really like her. She is. Yeah. She is. Yeah, I can see her really, really heading up the chain. She is. Oh good. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, this, yeah. Telly, Telly's a beast. And uh, no, um, no, and yeah, Telly, Telly's amazing. And then on top of that, we got uh, we got obviously we got uh, Mario Kenny, is in it? Well, 
uh, I'm in it. And uh, we also have a surprise guest. Uh, and he's a he's pretty part of a pretty famous group called Fly Guy Entertainment from what Montana 300, but his name's Tally of 300. So it was nice to have you know a pretty big you know, uh, you know, his following is amazing on Instagram. So to have someone on yeah. a platform like that to be a part of our film was amazing as well. Uh, we got oh, my, how, our did actual, you get him? Huh? how did you get him? Uh, so Mario Cannon is like best friends with uh, Montana 300. And Montana okay. 300 is a big rapper, and that's a part of his group. And he was, you know, one day they're at the studio, and he was like, hey, man, we got a little role. We can, you know, boom, boom, boom. And then, you know, they're all rappers. They're, they haven't stepped into the mech, you know, to the industry of um, acting. And so Tally was, you know, he was like, you know what? I want to give it a try. You know what I'm saying? And obviously we had nothing but opportunity ready for him. So, it's yeah, it's pretty cool. Like I said. Congratulations. We, yeah. So it, it's all about networking, you know, and. Obviously, with having Canon, it helps me a lot because yeah. he has a huge following too on Instagram, and like he knows a lot of cool people, amazing people. And so, when it comes to us growing and us getting some names in areas, like it's 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 a blessing for sure. Yeah. And um, before I forget, I definitely want to give a shout out to my friend Dan. Uh, he's our DP. He does all our graphics, our posters. He did the black poster right there. I love the black poster. And yeah. he's a wizard, and he's in Central Illinois. And he's uh, definitely uh, – he's he's just amazing at everything that he does. Shout out to Dan. Well, and it sounds like you got a great team uh, with you. I got a blessing with- of a team. And another shout-out, too, to Maurice. Um, the way that I take care of my actors and actresses mm-hmm. come from him. I mean, you know how it is oh, to be yeah. on a set. You get fed very well. You get taken care of. Um, care you know what I'm saying? You get, you get some type of money in your pocket. Like, Maurice does his sets. He sets the bar way too high <laughs> because <laughs> you work with Maurice, and then you work with somebody else, and then you're yes. like, I'm what's gonna, going I'm, on? I want Maurice. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. So, uh, yeah. so shout out to Maurice. So exactly what you said. He has his own thing. I got my own thing. And we're actually trying to figure out a project we're trying to do together okay so we're you know what i mean so his resources my resources how can we create this you know what i'm saying this all-star uh you know production in a way you know so uh yes. that, that'd be, that definitely we're gonna get together soon and talk about that and uh man alice if you can do you know what i'm saying behind the scenes stuff for us too on that end because that'd be yep. awesome hey I'm I'm yeah, I'm about to put my beard in now. When black come out, if I don't get my red carpet, um, in oh my, no, yeah, you go, nope, you got it. Hey, if I don't get it, it's gonna be a problem. <laughs> hey, it's you, gonna be a problem in Chicago and Peoria. <laughs> <laughs> no, you got it, hey Alice. You say say you don't gotta say no more. I got you. You are gonna be? Yeah, you're gonna, you're I want to do red that carpet. Red carpet. Give yes. me interviews. Listen, um. Let everybody, before we get out of here, let everybody know how they can find you and how they're going to be able to see some of these films. So um, our Instagram for Star Power Film Company is literally Star Power Film Company. The same thing for Facebook. Uh, my, my Instagram is Baby Orchata El Comediante. Uh, it's a little longer, but you just put Baby Orchata, I'll pop up. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, these films, like I said, we're going to be doing, if you want to uh, definitely know, definitely follow our Instagram and Facebook because we'll be posting when we do theatrical releases for them. So mm-hmm. that'll be, that'll include, you know, the ticket link, the everything. So if you want to watch these films, cause we plan on doing an event, not just one movie premiere. I plan on having, um, just giving another form of giving other people's blessings is an actual red carpet, like, you know, it, you know, premiere. And then also on top of that, like before, like uh, we show a couple of our films and then black, uh, I want to have like musical artists perform beforehand and oh, just have wow. an event. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's a magical event. And then obviously we're going to have Alice on the red carpet, give everybody interviews, the actresses and the actors, um, <laughs> you know, she'll be press and uh, yeah, no, it's, it's, I want to, I want to create an event for everybody to remember. Cause a lot of these people, that's, it's either their first speaking role or their mm-hmm. first red carpet or, you know, and that's something that will always stick with you. And that's what a, a big true. goal of us uh, over at Star Power is to give people memories and inspiration and uh, nothing but love, true. you know. So uh, definitely any info on the films, definitely follow our uh, Instagram and Facebook. So 
All right. And, and, and I know I'm going to get some emails and, and so we can stop the emails if you all don't bug me because I don't own a studio. OK. OK. Mm -hmm. Or a film company. How can someone um, audition for you? So we use exclusively IndieDB.com. Um, IndieDB.com. I-N-D-I-D-B.com. Uh, we use it exclusively because it's made the audition process so much easier. Okay. Um, you will sign up. Uh, it's a free sign up. You just have to use my invite code S47T. S47T. And uh, you'll be, you know, you, and then right there, you'll, you'll click on my projects. And you're actually going to see all the casting calls from everybody from the Midwest because it's exclusive to Midwest. So, okay. it's you know, so it's not only, no, we got our own platform. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> That's um, excellent. Yeah, so uh, you and it's crazy because what site do you use that rewards you for using it? Right, no site. You build points just by auditioning. You build points by just by having a casting call. You build points just by you know interacting with it, and with mm -hmm. those points you can use. Um, NDDB actually has a studio by O'Hare, and uh, it's it's literally a place you can do self tapes at. You can do uh, audition tapes. You could do um, numerous amounts of things and to use gear as well. Like it, it's crazy. Like what Adam Dada is creating is, is another platform. Uh, once again, assisting people, helping assisting people out. People. And that's go. what that's it's all about. All right. Listen, um, so I know he talked kind of fast and he listed it down as y'all can replay it again, but I will make sure I get the information and I'll list it down in the description about the films where you can audition when he's how you can follow him uh and i just started this new thing so before we get out of here one more thing okay you ready all right so i asked me four questions all right and i, I i'll say well it's not a question i actually I'll say a statement and you finish it for me okay in your own words you ready yep one i am inspired by my mom and dad. Oh, let me try to make brownie points. <laughs> <laughs> Two, don't take away the mask. <laughs> <laughs> I like the mask. I mean, I feel like it. You like the mask? <laughs> yeah, I, it's weird. I like wearing the mask. I don't know. I feel like uh, uh, some people need it more than others, but you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> My pet peeve is excuses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's a good one. That's a good one. All right, because there are no excuses. I spoke to a young lady today, and I said, every day that you can open up your eyes, that's something that you can do. And you can't tell me my legs hurt because there's people out there who don't have legs, and they get out there and they do all kinds of things. The people who don't have arms, they get up and they can make their own self self breakfast. So that's there's not homeless food. people that. That put more work in than yeah. <laughs> homeless people wake up and they go in the middle regardless. If that's they still that's right try. Yeah, they still that's try. Right. So you're right, excuses. All right, and then the last one is I want to go where? Oh, traveling. Uh I so one I'm definitely uh, doing a like a self trip. Um I want to go to Miami this year. Uh, I just, I just want. I've never been to Miami, so yeah. Yeah, I just want to go over there and just rent a Tesla and just go to everywhere. <laughs> but make sure you're safe and make sure it's yellow down there so you don't get sick. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. All right, listen, ladies and gentlemen, we want to thank. Ruben Ramirez for joining us tonight. I am so grateful that he had took the time out. He's a very, very busy man, but he took the time out to sit here with me and discuss his goals and his dreams and the people that surround him. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Alice, for, thank thank you for all the blessings. Thank you. Thank you for everything you've done. I appreciate you. I can't wait to keep collaborating with you and you definitely going to be our, yes. one of our press ladies at the, at the red carpet. So. Yes. Yeah, definitely. And tell Mario, I got him. Okay. Okay. Don't worry about, I got him. 
Okay, okay, cool. I I got him. Um, I'm thinking about May, so you get some time to get his little stuff together. <laughs> Sounds I good. Sounds him. good, Alice. <laughs> okay. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, I want to once again thank you for watching. I will be back next week with a new show. Hopefully, all right. Not hopefully. I will, because that's excuses. I will be back. How about that? <laughs> there you go. There you are. I, I will be back. And as I say always, before we get out of here, find your fire. Be true to who you are, and whatever you do, inspire along the way, because that's how we're all going to exceed, succeed. All right? <laughs> Thank you. Talk to you next week. All right. Thank you very much. That was good. Nah, no problem, Alice. That was fun. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Did you enjoy it? Oh, I loved it. Oh, my God. Yes, of course. <laughs> all right, well, I can't wait, because I'm because not a, cause everybody that's actually a cover, I'm going to, let me stop the recording. Everybody that's actually...